Good day to you and welcome I'm back here and today I'm going to show you how the Pillars of Eternity run on my 940M laptop. So on the left you can see my rig, it's i5-6200U with NVIDIA 940M, 2 gigs of VRAM, also accompanied by 8 gigs of RAM, uh, with which are slow ones, 800MHz, and the standard stock hard drive, 5200RPM. 5, now. It is surprising that the game actually does not stutter while recording, which is pretty good, pretty good, I have to say. However, there is a huge difference between the amount of effects. And right now you can see that it's somewhere around 30 to 35, and once I leave the fire, it actually can get up to 50. Yeah. It actually gets there. However, this is minimum amount. So usually you have some effects, some some spells. Your your enemies are in there. So the amount of characters and the amount of these effects really really impacts the performance. On the bottom, you can for a while already see some of my results. Now I would probably recommend playing this on 1080p because it looks a lot better than on lower resolutions. However. Um, I when I played it when it was released or almost released, uh, I played it on nine, 16 to 900 and medium settings, which seemed to me like an okay thing. It was somewhere between an okay visuals and actually 30 FPS. However, if you don't really care about 30 FPS, 1080p is possible. Yet don't expect that you will have stable 30. You will have probably stable 25, which is okay in this game, uh, that it, you can pause any time, and yeah, it could run better, I have to say, the engine, the engine does not look that advanced, like this is an amazing effect, I have to say, at least it looks amazing, how are the models the textures of ground are not that great, yet once you take a look at these things, these look pretty cool once you don't really zoom in. Like, this is a pretty, pretty good looking. And, oh, this is nice fog. However, this is just the start. I, do it, I didn't want to give you any spoilers, so that's why I'm here, and... It, the performance gets slightly lower afterwards, after you begin. So if you begin and everything is fine, you might find out that you have to lower the performance or the settings in order to get solid performance later on. When your, when your group is larger, when you have a lot of fires around and when you have plenty more enemies around. So, hope that, you, hope that this helps you and this helps you decide whether to get it or not. And well, if you have your own experience with this game, please share and comment. I would like to see your own results, your own experiences with the performance of this one. And well, thanks for watching and see you next time.